terms of what uh, you know the broader public can do in the in the case of a seismic event is um, firstly if it is possible or, you know while the shaking is occurring at least uh, if you can vacate the property or the building that you are in uh, that would be the first uh, point of recommendation uh, mm -hmm. and try and be as far as away as possible uh, from from the building you know if there should be any possible collapse uh, or anything like that happening you know it could safeguard lives uh, in the event you know where uh, where you know people cannot vacate a, a premises uh, it's usually advisable then as a second option to you know try and find shelter under a table or a bed or something along those lines just to protect for the eventuality you know that something does collapse uh, mm -hmm. obviously once the uh, the shaking had subsided uh, which usually lasts for a couple of seconds um, you know, it would be also advisable to try and do a determination, you know, in terms of uh, are there any obvious, you know, structural damage or or things like that that occurred uh, also to, uh, you know, to prevent any injury or loss of life. Uh, and usually if that is the case, uh, it's advisable, you know, to get uh, some form of an engineering professional. I know usually the structural uh, engineers can do these sorts of assessments to determine, you know, if buildings are indeed safe. Uh, if it did suffer severe damage uh, following an earthquake. Hey, Banna. Oh. Hey, Banna.